Okay, it's a walk around this uh, 1994 M registration Range Rover Vogue SE 300 TDI automatic um, in Avalon blue with grey leather. Uh, standard specification car, there's no uh, funny bits and pieces on it at all, apart from uh, one or two bits that I've come on to. So it's got the latest style bumpers with the big um, overriders. It's got front fog lamps, um, colour coded alloys, matching set of uh, Cumho tyres which are no more than six months old. Um, it's got heated front screen. Um, carrying on around it. Still got the luggage cover in the back, which is quite nice. Oh, I've left the tailgate open. It's also got an alloy top tailgate, which is uh, a nice addition. Stops those getting rusty. Full tow pack. Uh, that probably is about it. Remote mirrors, electric windows, all the usual usual toys. Anyway, we'll go around in a bit more detail. Um, largely very original. Um, I think it's probably had a bit of paintwork around the bonnet at some point, but uh, um, it's uh, generally in uh, not bad shape. The one thing that does let it down, the bonnet has been fitted with one of these. I mean, the bonnet's always rust on, on classic Range Rovers. Um, and this one has been fitted with one of these sort of stone protector trims, which have uh, been on there for so long, I can't get it off now. It's sort of... Uh, um, fused onto the paintwork, shall we say, which doesn't look particularly um, attractive. Sort of goes right round here, a couple of slight splits in it there, it's obviously rusted from underneath, and goes right round to here. Um, obviously covering up, you know, the bonnets do tend to rust on the leading edges on these, and this, uh, this one is no exception. A few minor tiny sort of stone chips on the top of the bonnet, uh, and then obviously we've got a little bit of bubbling just around here on the bonnet edge, that's had some paintwork there, I can see that as it has there as well, which is probably yeah, a bit of uh, bit of bubbling on the back edge of the bonnet as well. Frankly, you can buy bonnets for these for um, for not much money. Um, just a question of getting one in the right colour. But uh, um, I'll leave it up to your discretion. Clearly the bonnet at some point has, um, as once again not uncommon, has uh, has been caught by the wind and pinged back because uh, on, the, um, on the deck panel you've got both sides uh, a little bit of paint loss and a, a slight raised bit on the deck panel there. Obviously the hinges have gone ah, like that on it against it. It's the same uh, same on the other side, just uh, just here. Um, obviously, as I say, the bonnet's been caught by the wind at some point and gone uh, gone back a bit too far. Um, looking down the Nissan, this one doesn't show any signs of having been off-roaded. I know the people that we got it from uh, basically just use it as a, as, as a, as a family car um, and uh, they... Uh, had a discovery was in the end because uh, um, not extra child, you need the seven seats. But uh, uh, it looks pretty straight and clean down the near side. There's one or two, as usual, minor parking dinks in the doors, but no more than that. Going down the sides, near side front wing, pretty good. A couple of tiny bits of electrolytic reaction just on the bottom of the near side front uh, wing just there. There's a few scratches on the, um, tiny scratches on the near side door. The longest one is between there and there. There's a couple here couple of chips just here and a very slight scuff that's just running along there just above the um, uh, above the rubbing strip and another very slight scuff just from there to there on the near side the front door um, interior wise quite nice could do with a valet um, we'll give it a vacuum before it goes out but uh, uh, it would benefit from a valet just to bring it up to um, to, to real cleanliness passenger seat is um, is nice the leather's sort of starting to get a bit cracked now as you'd expect but uh, no more than that dash is good um, the headlining is all very nice in this one, it's not sagging at all. The only thing you have got just uh, up here, the, the blind for the sunroof, clearly the headlining has, uh, has sagged off that so much they decided to pull it off, which most people do. In fairness, most of the time your blind is back like that, so no one ever really notices. When it's forward, clearly there's no, uh, there's no covering on the sunroof blind, but uh, is that really an issue? I don't think so. Um, no, the headlining's nice, which is all the usual issues on... Um, on classic Range Rovers. Near side rear door, once again, a few minor scratches just here and here and stuff, but uh, nothing more than that. Um, the, what have we got? D-post here is looking okay at the minute, might need in a couple of years time, might just need the, um, the D-post just welding there, but uh, it's not, uh, not breaking through or anything. Um, just starting to flake a little bit, so I've probably got another couple of years out of that. Near side um, rear seats are nice. Uh, near side rear wing, tiny bit of electric lithium reaction just coming up just down the bottom there and there's another bit just there um, and a couple of minor scratches. I'm being picky with it because uh, 
I don't want any sort of shocks when people come down to see it. And there's a sort of a, a one inch long scratch just on the very, very corner of the, um, the near side rear quarter panel just there. Slightly scuffed bumper. As I say, we've got an alloy top tailgate, so that's not going to rust again. The lower tailgate is um, getting a little bit, a uh, little bit scabby. It's as always, it's rusting around the um, the number plate uh, light just there, and it's starting to go on the bottom edge. It's bubbling up and starting to crack along the bottom edge here. I think it's been painted at some point. By the look of it, I can see a very slight paint difference just down the bottom there, probably to uh, cover up the rust, which is now coming through again. And as always, the the sides um, are starting to uh, to flake a little bit, but uh, still very solid. But um, as I say, just looking a tad untidy there. Um, and the same with the rear bumper; it could redo with a, either a repaint or a replacement rear bumper on it, because um, that's uh, just sort of a bit of surface rust and a bit of discoloration on it, one way or another. Um, looking down the offside, we've got a slight dink in the offside rear wing, um, and a small dink in the uh, in the driver's door. Offside rear wing, we've got, yeah, it's a sort of uh, a small depression just here that's scuffed slightly along there. It's obviously been rubbed against something, gate post or something. Um, just depression well there, which goes down there. Um, and the, the near side, offside rear valance is slightly pushed in here, very slightly. Um, hasn't broken the paint or anything, but it's just sort of slightly misshapen. A couple of blobs of electrolytic reaction on it there. Um, offside rear door, slightly scratched, but no more than that. Offside rear D post is very, very good. It's all nice at the top there. Um, seat's good, that's all fine. Um, driver's door, so it's got a slight parking dink just there. Um, but aside from that, that's fine. Screen, we didn't talk about the screen, that's fine. A couple of very, very, very tiny chips in it, but it is 15, uh, 15 years old now, so. Um, Driver's seat is all very nice, it's not worn through, piping's still good, it's just very slightly scuffed on the edge as you'd expect given the uh, 144,000 miles. Uh, so it just needs a good clean here really, we'll give it a good vacuum before it goes out. Um, but the driver, the whole driving position is nice and it's, uh, it's just, you know, it's a nice, uh, nice soft ash SE, which uh, rare old beast. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk.